I know it's been a while, but I got an update on the Z. So, this is the current state of it right now. If you guys remember it, I was talking about painting my car. Um, I actually got a few things painted. So, this is the windshield cowl. I uh, haven't cut and buffed this yet, but it's pretty decent. This is the uh, inspection lid. That would be right here. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, my old fenders were rusted and rotty. So this is my old one. Uh, tried taking it down the bare metal with the uh, paint remover, but I just decided it was too beat up to, uh, to use. So I went and got these. These are from a 240Z, but they work on 280Z. Same thing. Um, better condition, so they're not beat up, dented, or rusted. Got them for a pretty good deal. So, yeah, better than me trying to save this. Um, the headlight buckets are also painted. These are sanded down. Um, have yet to polish these. Uh, the hood is primed. Uh, I'm gonna paint the underside first, then flip it over and paint the other side. Um, I'm not sure if I should clear the underside or not. What do you guys think? Um, if I don't clear it and just spray the, uh, the base coat, it'll just be kind of like a flat blue color. Um, probably gonna try to rattle can the engine bay. Um, try to remove as much as I can and mask off whatever is needed and to spray it. Uh, probably just do a black. Um, of course, the easiest way to paint it is to remove the engine, but I don't want to do that. Uh, my driver's side fender on my original one was especially messed up. Uh, this one has a little bit of filler here that I didn't know about when I picked it up. Uh, not too bad. I should be able to uh, smooth this out. Uh, I found out why my door was so hard to open. So check this. This is the, the door hinge. You can see how much play there is. So... This should be solid. It shouldn't move at all. So, what would happen is the door would sag and it would be hard to uh, get over the hinge here. Yeah, I need to get all this paint off. This is crappy. Look, I could just chip this off. So, it was yellow. Uh, I got this car flat black. And I found over time that it was yellow. But the original color would be uh, the burnt orange color. So this car has been through a couple different colors. And now it's gonna be uh, a midnight blue. Let me get, go ahead and show you the paint that I'm using. It's kind of dark back here, but this is the uh, brand I'm using. I got this as a whole kit with the base coat, clear coat, Came with the activators and reducers and stuff. Uh, mixing cup, I never mixed the tape before, but not hard to do. And of course, these are all used up. I should probably get new ones or clean them. Um, I should have enough for the whole car, I think. Uh, I said that one gallon should be enough for a small car, and the Z is definitely a small car. So hopefully I'm good on that. I don't want to buy another quarter or whatever of paint. Um, let me show you what I've been using the paint. So right over here, got a tiny little 30 gallon tank. Got this from Home Depot. It's, I'm pretty sure everybody has this. Um, Got the water separator here. Uh, if I 
able to focus. There's a the water separator. This goes between the compressor and the line, so it catches water, so it won't get in your paint. I mean, look, it's not too bad, right? I mean, it's not perfect. I get that, but for doing it at home, first time, by the way, I don't think it's too bad. So I've been using the Devil Bliss gun. This is their starting line kit. It's like a hundred and something bucks for the base coat gun and the uh, the clear coat gun combo. Okay, so I've been using aircraft paint stripper remover and then using this primer, which goes directly over bare metal. Uh, says it somewhere. Um, I do that, I prep the panel first Spray this, sand it down, and then I spray this uh, primer. You can see it says surfacer. So this will further help smoothen out the panel. Uh, this stuff is pretty thick. They, have, they actually both are pretty thick, but... So I've been painting pieces separately. I know that paint might not be the same color, but hopefully it's close enough. So I did the cowl area first and then did the inspection lid here uh, planned to do this but I had bad fenders so I got new ones uh, probably gonna do the underside of the hood and the uh, the air dam which is out here um, send this down to a 320 right now I'm gonna go 320 400 and 600 uh, 400 and 600 being wet sand. Um, this is the uh, polyurethane xenon air dam, so it's super flexible. If you can, I don't know if you can really see that. So I haven't driven this thing in a while because it's been down for paint. Nothing wrong with it. It still runs. Um, check out no airflow meter. I'm running the uh, fast EFI kit. Uh, I got videos on that if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, runs good. It's just been down for paint. I've been driving my uh, 240 a lot. 240SX, not 240Z. Uh, yeah, so probably gonna paint the engine bay black. That's gonna be fun to get everything out of the way. I'm gonna paint it as best possible, so without removing the engine. I also got this poor 15 stuff. There's a little bit of surface rust underneath the fender. Um, well, it kind of looks like this. It's just right on the surface. Then it's not just destroying the metal or anything. But yeah, probably gotta sand that down and throw some of this on there. Um, I'm guessing the under cowl part will probably be spray painted black with just a can. And uh, I don't plan on using the actual body color for under here. So there's the update on the Z. The hope, hopefully the next time you see it, the whole front end will be painted. The whole front end meeting fenders, hood, air dam. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for the front end. Um, I know I should be painting everything at the same time for the color match better, but it's just, you know, I don't have time to do everything at the same time. Uh, doing the whole front end, then I'm moving on to the body. Uh, I'm gonna try to do all of this at least one shot. Um, you know, I'm doing everything like opposite of what people suggest. I got a tiny little compressor back there, right? A little 30 gallon. Um, so far I've been able to paint these little pieces. We'll see how it goes on the bigger pieces. Um, a little bundle work to do back here. Uh, this is a new panel. It's kind of hard to see. It's really dark. This is new metal for the uh, rear panel here. So, bond of work will need to be done. 
Yeah, I mean, just look at this. This is not bad, right? Tell me this is not bad. Look at all this crap I bought, too. Like sandpaper, it gets really expensive. 